What's up mga chong? Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different sa mga ginagawa nating auto review, okay? Kasi ngayon, gagawa tayo ng 10 part series talking about the lowdown on buying a used car, okay? Interesting na topic yan kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao gustong bumili ng brand nyo na kotse at hindi lahat ng tao afford bumili ng brand nyo na kotse, okay? We have a 10 part series na gagawin natin dito sa used car buying tips and number one dito sa video na to pag-uusapan natin yung budget category selection and drive train okay this is very important kasi budget let's say meron kang 300,000 pesos at may gustong gusto kang sedan okay let's say type na type mo yung Toyota Altis let's say Yes, you can go for Altis, yung top of the line, used car. But you can look at one category up na baka naman mas okay. You may get the base variant pero you get more value out of your money. What do I mean with that? Take a look at the Toyota Altis. Sedan yan, di ba? Medyo malaking sedan. You can see it five people. And if you look at Toyota's range, one category up, there's the Toyota Avanza. The Toyota Avanza can seat seven people at... Uh, Doon pa lang, value for money na yun. Mas marami kang may sasama sa mga trip mo. Although, hindi siya kasing pogi ng Altis. It's not quite as stylish as a sedan. Okay? Pero, mas marami kang may sasakay, correct? Yun lang yung isa sa mga category uh, selection na pwede mong tignan. Okay? And one more sa budget. Gusto ko lang malaman nyo na hindi lang brand new cars ang pwedeng i-loan sa banko. Even used cars. At hindi lang sa banko pwedeng mag-loan. There are these companies na nagpapaloan talaga para sa mga used cars. They usually are more affordable. Okay? For the loan, I don't have the specifics or the lowdown about it. So, I think kung gagawin man natin ang video yan, some other time na lang. But for now, let's go straight and talk about the categories. Okay? Alam nyo naman yung isang sasakyan namin, yung Toyota Wigo. Yan ang classic example ng small hatchback. Yung mga Toyota Wigo, Mitsubishi Mirage, yung mga Nissan Juke, uh, Honda Jazz. Although dyan sa category na yan, may mga maliit at mas malaki pa dyan. Kita mo na lang sa Toyota, right? There's the Yaris and there's the Wigo. magkaiba pa yung category nila pero the principle is hatchback silang pareho and one category up from the hatchback would be the sedan again sa Toyota nandyan yung Toyota Vios at Altis may pagkakaiba pa rin sila pero they are both sedan nandyan din sa selection may yung Nissan Almera Mitsubishi Lancer the Mazda 3 yan yung mga ganyang sasakyan one category up would be the MPV yan yung mga Suzuki APV Toyota Avanza, Suzuki Ertiga, Toyota Innova. Yung mga yan, classified as MPV, multi-purpose vehicles. Can usually seat 7 people. And the drivetrain carries from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive. Actually, yung mga mas maliliit sa kanya, usually mga front wheel drive yan. Kasi a front wheel drive makes a more economical car. It does not require a tunnel para sa transmission which makes more space sa loob ng sasakyan. So yun, later on on the video, we will talk more about the drivetrain. Meanwhile, yung one category up from the MPV would be the SUV. Yung mga SUV usually rear wheel drive or four wheel drive depende sa variant na kukunin mo. And these SUVs are usually more roomier, more powerful than MPVs and can seat 7 people din naman. Yun lang. Kinaiba niya sa MPV yung drivetrain. May mga 4-wheel drive ang SUV. More ground clearance or more off-road capability. Bigger engine size and usually diesel. Usually diesel talaga yung mga SUV kasi malalaking sasakyan na eh. So usually turbo diesel. Another category na gusto mo kung patrabaho ay yung pick-up. Alam niya naman yung pick-up open tray sa likod. So medyo mabibigat yung dala-dala mo lagi. Mga hollow blocks. Company ka or tindahan ng bigas, you would lean more onto the loading capability ng sasakyan. So, pasok na pasok ang pick-up dyan. At ang gugawa po naman ang mga selection ng pick-up if you take a look at the market, right? Ford Ranger, Mitsubishi Strada, Toyota Hilux, 
Nissan Navara ang gagawa ko ng mga pickup na yan and they are usually economical sa fuel kasi magdaan yung mga yan pagka walang karga okay? at yung mga may malaking pamilya naman can go for a van just like this one can usually seat 18 people but in my case meron siyang 15 seats babawasak ko I might put some captain seats kasi ayoko naman talaga magdadrive ng sobrang daming tao ayoko ng full capacity itong van na to I'm reducing it to around 10 seats kaya kung hindi ako mag captain seats baka couch maglagay ako dyan sa likod and speaking of okay kung napansin nyo walang upuan dun sa likod ayan o tinan nyo isang row lang yung iniwan ko bakit? kasi naglilipat kami ng bahay okay we are moving out of the place that we're renting out and we're going to move late this year sa Silang Cavite farther south for the meantime naglilipat kami dun sa place ng aking binan ang um, useful na itong van na to kasi mataas, malaki, spacious as you can see and um, we're primarily using this to move our things and yeah, with that thing out of the way <laughs> na share ko lang yun yung mga usual na category na pagpipilian mo sa mga sasakyan, okay? Moving on to the topic of drivetrain Gusto ko rin malaman to ng mga used car buyers kasi apat lang naman yan eh. sa mga passenger cars you only have Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and four wheel drive. Ano ano kung pinikay ba nun? Okay. Sa mga usual na passenger cars, mga economy cars such as the hatchback, small sedan, crossovers, to save on fuel, to save on cost on building these cars, front wheel drive ang nilalagay ng manufacturers. Why? It does not require a big engine to run, walang complicated na transmission or walang transmission panel going through the car giving it more space and it's cheaper to repair kasi nandiyan na lahat kadugtong na lahat ng makina okay and the other one rear wheel drive yan yung medyo performance bias ng mga sasakyan like this one for example mas capable sa load carrying yung solid axles niya sa likod kaya nandun yung drive at mas reasonable naman kasi mabigat na yung harap nito dahil nandito yung engine so to balance it out the drivetrain is at the back Ganyan din naman yung principle sa mga sports cars Usually rear wheel drive yung mga yan So it can perform, you know, drift Some sideway actions Kasi kailangan yung power mo dun nandun sa likod Correct? So more on the performance side nandun sa rear wheel drive yan All wheel drive Kilalang kilalang all wheel drive manufacturer would be the Subaru Yan ang classic example niya Kasi these cars excel in snow conditions Gustong gusto yan sa mga bansa na nag snow One more yung pedigree ng Subaru eh rally So yun yung mga paborito nilang drivetrain I don't think gumagawa ang Subaru ng ibang drivetrain bukod sa all-wheel drive Right? Then there's the four-wheel drive Usually nandyan yan sa mga SUVs na malalaki These vehicles, usually yung mga Pajero, Land Cruiser Patrol, yan yung mga four-wheel drive na sasakyan and some pickups. Kailangan nila yan for the off-road capability. Ang kinaiba ng four-wheel drive sa all-wheel drive is the four-wheel drive can function as a two-wheel drive only. Rear wheel lang. And when the going gets tough, there usually is a second stick shift or a dial knob na you can alter kung mailalak mo yung center differential. Gusto mo ng four-wheel drivetrain and low range yun naman yung binabayaran mo sa four wheel drive okay these vehicles are very very capable usually matataas yung mga yan very capable sa paglusong sa mga rocky terrain at yung mga gravel road yan pasok na pasok dyan yung four wheel drive mas matipid lang sa fuel talaga yung mga two wheel drive only like the rear wheel drive only especially yung mga front wheel drive kasi yun nga hindi sya kasing complex ng four wheel drive at ng all wheel drive so Yan lang naman yung mga things na good to know, okay, kung bibili ka ng sasakyan, right? So, on this video, what can we take away from it? Yung budget, just always know that you're not limited to just one particular category ng sasakyan. You can look at one category up. It may be a base model, pero baka mas maluwag na sasakyan yung makuha mo, okay? For example, nalang gusto mo ng Toyota Avanza, okay, fine. It can seat 7 people, economical, and you can get the top of the line Toyota Avanza with your money right now, okay? Pero if you look at the lower end variants ng mga SUVs such as the Fortuner, Montero, baka naman mas malaking sasakyan pa yung makuha mo, correct? So I hope these tips can, can enlighten you kung may type kang sasakyan. 
Siyempre, gusto naman natin makatulong sa mga tao na kukuha ng kotse At kung hindi nyo na itatanong kasi ang background ko po ay used car buy and sell So, minabuti natin na tumulong sa mga, mga beginners na kukuha ng sasakyan, right? And if you have questions in buying a used car, please let me know in the comment section down below We will do our best to accommodate those questions At meron pa tayong 9 parts na parating Lahat yan tungkol sa used car buying, right? So stick around and stay tuned for that I-upload natin yan And until then, this has been your Garage King As usual, you drive safe Ciao!